Services and um, I'll be glad to take you through the weekly derivative analysis this time around. And um, I will start by highlighting the risk warning, which says um, trading leverage products such as forex and derivatives may not be suitable for all investors as they carry a high degree of risk to your capital please ensure that you fully understand the risks involved taking into account your investment objectives and level of experience and if necessary seek independent advice and i would uh, you know love to i love to employ us to go through the risk one so so as to fully understand um what's really going to be displayed here and to ensure that you really know what you're getting into so Straight away into the charts, um, we're going to start with VIX 25 daily, a daily time frame. And as you can see, we can see um, it was kind of in a ranging market and looks like it has you know, broken out of the range, but it's a two way thing as it is right now. It can be a fake out. So we have to go to lower time frame to confirm that so yes this is you can see this particular this particular support level which it broke let me let me see if i can streamline it okay yes so um, this is it so we have to go to the h4 time frame you know Okay, first of all, I would say that uh, if it probably breaks a structure on the H4, on the 4 hour time frame or on the 1 hour time frame, it could probably retest this other block and continue its downtrend, its downtrend. And um, I could also try to draw a trend line somewhere here, somewhere here. You know if it breaks this market structure which i'm going to highlight very soon and then for those who are willing to trade this long term you can uh, you know buy it to this particular level that is the trend line so let's let's take a look at what's going on on the h4 okay so it's looking like a market structure is about to be broken on the h4 so while we wait for a break in market structure, we moving at the retest of you know probably an order block or a support a resistance level which has become a support level, or rather we you know we check the retest of an order block that probably sponsored the break in market structure that actually moved the support level. So we can take a look at the H1 time frame, and yes, yes, yes. So we can see that the market has actually tried to retest this order block. It actually did. It retested it, and it went. It rallied around for a while, and then later broke the particular, the highlighted. Um, support level so you know this is the h1 time frame and like I, I would always say once you spot a bms and uh, you know two lower two higher higher lows rather you can you know enter you can actually confirm that an uptrend has actually begun so i would say for vix 25 we are still kind of in a downtrend but i i believe once there is a break in market structure somewhere around here then we can actually believe that the uptrend has begun but outside here we are still in a clear downtrend 
So this is for VIX25 and I move on to VIX751S and yes um, this is the daily time frame for VIX751S and we can see it's, it's in a clear downtrend and um, you know going to actually retest this particular order block that sponsored the breaking market structure this this particular breaking market structure here sorry yes this particular breaking market structure here and um, i want to believe it's it's really going to reach somewhere around here and then from here we wait for a breaking market structure also yes a breaking market structure somewhere around here somewhere in this area then from there we will take advantage of um, buying opportunities to you know pack in some profits so let's take a look at what's going on the eight four like i stated earlier it's actually in the it's actually in a downtrend so you know so let's let's take a look at it Okay, so this is the four hour time frame for VIX 75 1s, and uh, we can see we can actually see an other block it's responding to at the moment, and this is it. But you know, I still want to believe we are still clearly in a downtrend, except we spot a BMS either in this zone, this highlighted zone or this highlighted zone and then we jump in from there so if we spot if a bms is spotted on the h1 or on the h4 somewhere around these zones then you can actually confirm that there is a clear reaction to the other block that sponsored the breaking market structure and then you can you know jump in from there and Taking your, I mean, bagging your profit at the last swing, or for those who may not, who may not be able to hold for long, you can, you know, just can place your take profit somewhere around here, here, or here. Or I mean, for those who may be, who may be willing to, you know, take it for a long, very long time, somewhere around here also. So yes, that's that's for VIX 75 bonus, and I move on to VIX 50. I move on to VIX 50. This is the weekly time frame of VIX 50, and uh, it's very clear that we're in a strong downtrend. And this has been happening for you know for the past few weeks. I mean, almost yeah, more than a month now. And um, it's 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 been a beautiful ride for those who have been able to take advantage of it. I mean, I mean the long-term traders, yes. So, this particular support level is is where I'm anticipating a break of market structure for, and taking advantage of the retest, and um, you know, bagging my profit depending on how, yeah, depending on how well you're able to hold the trade or how long rather you're able to hold the trade. So, this particular support level. Just last support level, we hope we'll, we look out for a break in market structure, preferably on the one hour time frame. Let's let's take a look at what's going on on the eight four. Like I said, it's actually in a downtrend. It's actually in a downtrend. So you know, um, as clearly stated here, I mean, as clearly seen here, rather, this is this is this has been really massive. This has been really massive. So you want to be careful, and you know. Uh, try, try, try to ensure that there's a clear BMS, preferably on the higher time frames. That is the H4, the H1, so that you don't get trapped um, buying a market that is actually in a very strong downtrend. So I think that's it for VIX 50. And um, yes, yeah, lastly VIX 101S. This has been a beautiful trendy market. You can see. Uh, series of um, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and then we can see a break in market structure and probably a retest to this particular order block. This particular order block, and um, 
it would be a beautiful you know retest of this other block and then we can continue to you know ride the downtrend apparently a, a downtrend has actually begun somewhere around here so i would i would say i mean you you wait for a retest of this particular other block and then from there you know you can ride the downtrend down to this level i mean for those who may not be willing to you know to hold the trades for a long time i mean you can put it at various um support levels which may later i mean various rest so yeah previous support levels rather or previous resistance levels which may later serve as uh, support levels for us you know that may actually bring the background position to the movement of the markets to the downside let's look at the h4 the h4 yes so for me i would be willing to you know take this trade and then um my take profit will be somewhere around here somewhere around here somewhere around here so that's that, that uh, that's that's gonna wrap it up for this week's analysis this week's uh, synthetic indices analysis and um i would like us to remember that we are to also trade this market with risk management and to ensure that you know we are not we are not being we are not we are not being taken advantage of by the synthetic indices markets to clear, clearing out our stop losses thereby using a large or huge amount of capital so let's remember to apply proper risk management to every trade taking so have a profitable week thank you